Last week I was looking at my 2023 goals and I noticed that there was one big item missing, which was to build and launch my own app. I've been a web developer for, I don't know, like eight years now, and I've started a lot of projects, but I never seem to be able to finish them. I get a good initial idea, I get super motivated to work on it, and then after around two weeks of work, I start overthinking that the idea might not be so good, or that the niche is too saturated. I end up putting the initial work, but then I never launch anything. But I think enough is enough. So for the next seven days, I'm challenging myself to build and launch an app. It has to be published on the App Store by the end of the year. No matter how small or imperfect the app is, I just want to get something out there. So let's go. So what app can I build? It has to be something super simple that I can build in a week that doesn't require any complex logic. I'm even hoping that I don't have to do any backend, no authentication, just simple front end code. <sighs> it's raining a lot. I think what's my biggest problem right now? And with YouTube, I'm not afraid of all the gear, of all the editing, and all of that work. But talking to a camera, oh my god, look at this. Yep, I'm going back. So I'm not afraid of that. Edit to work. But what I really struggle with is talking to a camera and just communication in general, like getting my idea across and having, and having quick wits and all of that stuff. So how can I build an app to help me with this? So I think that's it. An app that you can use daily to practice your speeding to practice your speaking and to talk more fluently than, than a comedian. All right, let's go. Let's get to work. Okay, five days later and the MVP is done. I ended up building that speaking app and it's essentially a collection of mini games that will allow you to practice your speech and your improvisation. Similar to those games that usually stand-up comedians play. But let's put it to the test. Okay, let's try the improv game. And the improv game essentially gives you a topic or a theme and you must tell a story about it. But the twist is that every couple of seconds a new word will pop up and you have to integrate that word into your story. So let's try and play it. Okay, 
Let's talk about that strange smell. So last night I had this really strange smell coming out of my car. And I immediately went into survival mode. I, I thought it was like something dead because it smelled so bad in there. And I was just leaving Walmart when I realized that the smell was coming from my foot, from my... And I didn't realize it before because I was smoking cigars and with that hideous smell from the cigar, I couldn't even notice that smell coming from my feet. And then this lady with some pink hair just came up to me and said, oh, you stink so bad. Like, how is it possible that you haven't noticed that smell? And I was short for answers. Like, I couldn't tell her anything because I was smelling so bad and I couldn't think properly. <laughs> and that's it. Like, <laughs> I'm not very good at this game, but I think you, you get the point. Uh, by doing this games daily, I'm hoping that I can practice and you can practice as well. Instead of playing Candy Crush on your phone, you open this app, play one of the games daily for five or 10 minutes, have some fun and get better at speaking. You can practice your speaking, but most people don't. They just keep saying the same things every day or having the same type of conversations. But this, this game will force you to get out of your comfort zone and to simulate harder conversations and to think fast. So I would love for you to try it out. I'm gonna be selling it for 99 cents on the App Store. But if you wanna get it for free, just comment down below and I'll send all my subscribers a link for free. Right, I hope you enjoy.